everyone, it's JoJo. It's so beautiful out today. The sun is shining. I can't wait to go outside and enjoy it. So pretty. Um, as you can see, I am filming from a different location today in my house. I'm going to finish painting my kitchen, so I needed the kitchen table for my paint supplies and such. So I'm going to try something different. The lighting in here is nice, I think. And uh, we'll see how it works. I have my iPad on a tripod. And... Um, let me know if you like this uh, setup a little bit better. I think you'll be able to see some of the pieces a little bit better with us, but we'll see. Anyway, everything I found was at two different um, Goodwills, and I'm excited about some of the pieces I found. The first set you see I set up, I believe it's a, it's a three-piece coffee set. Um, by the look of the spout on it, I believe it's for coffee. It's got a sugar and a creamer. I paid $4 for the whole set. And they were definitely um, hand-painted. Uh, the name is on the bottom. It says Florence on the bottom. And uh, they painted, after they did the flowers, the little daisies here, they put a clear gloss over it to protect it, which I thought was really nice. Um, and the gold detail on the handle and the lid. The paint right here on the spout, like the brown paint around, is actually when I first picked it up, I thought maybe it was like a stoneware because it's a rougher feel to it. But it's definitely a ceramic. Um, but I thought it was really pretty, and I don't have another set like this. So, um, yeah, I thought it was neat, so I picked that up. All right, the next piece I'm going to show you is this toothpick holder. I thought it was so cute for Easter. A little duck and the little egg... Um, here for the toothpicks, a little bit of the shell on the duck's head. Really, really cute. The inside, um, it has a hole here at the top and one at the bottom. I don't know if that's for anything special or not. Um, but I thought it was really cute. I paid $2, um, for that. And then I picked up this, hand-painted also. It's a dish, a porcelain dish. It does have a couple cracks in it, I mean chips in it. I paid $2 for it. There's a chip right there Let's see and uh, another chip right there but that was really pretty pastel flowers perfect for spring I have a salt and pepper shaker that also has um, some hand painted pastel flowers on it uh, that belong to my husband's uh, grandma so they go perfect with that I picked up these really neat salt and pepper shakers um, they're silver plate um, by Wallace and it says Baroque Wallace silver plate and then it has some numbers etched in it. It says 1152-58 I'm not sure what that means. It's on both of them and um, when I looked it up online I didn't see anything else with that etched in it so I'm not sure why but um, I thought the foot like the stand on these were really pretty. It's got like a scroll work and I read where the ones that have this uh, scroll at the bottom were from the 50s. So I thought those were really neat. I picked up this owl candle. I thought it was so cute. I definitely won't burn it. It's too cute to burn. But I paid 99 cents for it. Oh, I forgot to mention... Um, the salt and pepper shakers, I actually paid a little bit more for those. I paid $9 for that set, but um, I thought they were well worth it. So I paid $0.99 cents for the candle, and it does have a sticker at the bottom. It says, Stone Candles, Inc., Berkeley, California. I'm not really sure the age. I did find some other ones on the internet, but um, it didn't say when they were made. So if you happen to know when the candle was made, you can let me know, but... Um, I thought he was so cute, and I love birds anyway, so it's perfect. Okay, so I found this really unique bracelet. Um, originally $2.79, but it was half off on the red tag, so I got it for half off that. It's made of, obviously, game pieces. And I wasn't sure as to what game it went to. Um, and I asked the lady who checked me out, and she had no idea either. So when I got home, I googled it, and it's from a game that came out in 1986 called Uno Domino's and I put this on my wrist um, but it fell right off so one of these could be removed for you know for a smaller wrist but I thought it was really unique somebody just made that okay 
So I picked up this fan. I thought it was really cool. Definitely has that 60s vibe to it. Um, it does have a couple, con excuse me, a couple condition issues in it. Like it's a little torn on the edge here. But I paid $2 for it and it has a nice wooden handle. I'm not sure what kind of material that is. Kind of has like a satin sheen to it. But I thought it was really neat. I picked up this brass stamp holder for like a roll of stamps. I don't even know if you can buy a roll of stamps anymore. But um, my grandparents had one. I always remember it sitting on their desk. So I paid $1.39 for this. So I thought I'd go ahead and get it. It brought back some memories for sure. I picked up this child's um, cereal bowl and cup. I thought this was older than it really is when I uh, when I got it. Um, it was in saran wrap, and I paid two thirty nine for it. it. Has like a little lamb. Looks like maybe a little caterpillar. Let's see if you can see the lights kind of glaring there. And then the bowl has like a duck and a bear. Another duck and a snail. But um, when I unwrapped it, I saw where it says. Amy on the bottom and it says 1976 so it's still a really neat piece um a set but I was thinking maybe it was a little bit older than that these were in a ziploc baggie it's three spoons and um three butter knives they're all gold the spoons have like a really neat wooden inlay in it um I paid two dollars for them and they're marked Thailand on the back of them they say Thailand but I thought they were really unique I don't have any silverware that's gold this one on the end of the knife it looks maybe like um, Hindu maybe I'm not sure but I thought they were really neat and unique for sure couple more things I got a stack of 45s. Um, I believe they were all donated from the same person because several of them, and I tried to put them towards the back, have the um, address label on them. So I won't show those because I won't give out the person's um, address, but um, I thought I'd show you a few of them. I paid 30 cents a piece for them. Uh, the first one, I put a couple of my favorites on top. The first one is Silver Bells by Doris Day, and Doris Day is my absolute favorite uh, actress of all time. I absolutely love her. So anytime I see anything Doris Day, I have to get it. And same goes for Rick Nelson. Ricky Nelson, the whole Nelson family, I absolutely love. So um, this is his hit, Garden Party. It was one of his later songs, but um, I just love him, and I love his music. And he did, you know, acting with the, um, the Ozzy and Harris show. This is a Michael Jackson one. It's a Motown. It says 1965. So I thought that was cool. And there's Lean On Me, Bill Withers. But some of these I I got, like this one, I got um, for the artwork on the, the sleeve here. I thought they were so cute. Definitely 70s for those. But that's some of those. And then the last thing I want to show you is this. And I originally thought it was a candy dish, like a glass candy dish with a brass base, but um, I paid $3 for it, and I think it's a candle holder. See that? See the inside? I think it's a candle holder. The um, flowers on the inside have um, like a little bit of pink paint on them, like a pink color, and then the base has like green on the leaves and also a little pink. Definitely really heavy, solid brass for sure. And it does have a marking on it. It says Depose, or if it's French, maybe it's Depose. I'm not sure. But I thought it was really cool. I'm going to have to do more research and find out a little bit more about it and uh, kind of get an idea of like when it was made. But I thought it was really neat. But that's all that I have for today. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
uh, please comment, share, and subscribe for sure. And I will be back again soon with another um, vintage thrift haul. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.